Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this piano tutorial, I'll be sharing three techniques that I use to improve my playing or to give it a better sound. So this first technique is really easy to learn and to apply. Let's say we're playing a song in C major. Basically, what, our, what we are going to do is apply grace notes to each of the chords or whichever chord you want to apply a grace note to. So the first step is recognizing all of the notes within the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, in this case. And let's say we play a C major chord. What I do is, instead of just playing a straight C major chord, I start the chord by playing the middle note in this case E, my, my personal preference is to use E as the note that I'll be applying this grace note to. So in this case, we use E. And instead of playing C major like this, I start out the chord by taking a note to the left of E within the C major scale. In this case, it, in this case it's D, right? So instead of playing C, E, G, I play D, and then I roll it up to a E. So it sounds like this. And you can either do it slow, like something like this, or quickly. Like that. And this can be applied to any of the chords within the C major scale. In this case, if we go to like a, a minor, we can apply the same thing to this C note. Instead of just playing a A, C, E, I play A, B, E, and then I roll the B to a C, so same thing with F and G. And also you can apply this grace note to different inversions of the chord. So let's say we are back in C major, but we're playing in a second inversion. So we're playing C, I mean G, C, and E. You can do the same thing. Start. G, C, D, and just roll off the D to the E. Same thing with G major. A minor. Right? And something cool about this technique is that if we look at a minor 7th or a major 7th chord, in this case, let's take a A minor 7th. Right, and something that you notice within this chord is that you can basically separate this chord into two. It's an A minor chord combined with a C major chord, right? So let's take this C major and just move it onto the right hand. And you can see on the screen that it's still A minor seventh. So if we apply this grace note that we learned, but we apply it on C major, it gives it a different effect to that A minor 7th chord. You see? And you can apply it to different chord qualities or extensions like major 9. In this case, I'm playing a G over a C. And that gives me that major 9 sound. that technique makes your playing sound a little bit more, I guess, personalized. Right? And you can experiment with which note you want to apply this grace note to. Right? So let's move on to the second technique that I use. And this technique is also simple. I know that most of the time when we're starting out, um, starting to learn how to play the piano we usually just play let's say we're playing a c on the right hand we usually just play the root note on the left hand like this and when we switch chords we just play one a single note right now this technique can be can be divided into into different levels uh, I guess the first level or second level that you can um, do to this technique is basically applying the fifth to that root note. Instead of just playing a, a C, you can play a C and a G. And you can play around with the arpeggios that you do on the left hand. An arpeggio is basically a pattern through time. You can do something like... And 
the same applies to any other chord. In, in the case of G major, the fifth is D. A minor would be E. Alright, so if we try to advance a bit more, what we can do to the left hand is add the octave. It's a little bit um a little bit bigger of a stretch in the left hand since we go from C to G then to the octave. The octave is basically the same note as the root note on the left hand. And we can um in the same way apply different arpeggios. It applies to any chord that you play on. Now, if we want to take it a step further, we can do this specific arpeggio. It's a little bit more complicated or more advanced. And the notes that we need are the first, the fifth, the ninth, which is the same as the second, as the second, only an, an octave higher. And then the tenth, which is the same as the third, only an octave higher. And basically, just practice this on your left hand. All right? And a good tip that you can also do is to include the pedal so that you can sustain these notes. All right? And it applies to any chord, major or minor. In the case of a minor chord, the tenth is going to be um, in the minor scale. Right? So if we use those same basic chords with this new arpeggio in the left hand um, and different notes in the left hand, you can see that it takes your playing to a different level. And let's try to combine also what we learned in that first technique of grace notes. Alright, so this third technique now, it's more um, aimed at improvisation, if you want to call it that. Um, it's basically an easy way to to include melodies into the chords that you are playing, alright? So before we learn how to do this technique, something important that we, le we need to learn is the pentatonic scale. It's really easy to learn. It's basically the major scale without the fourth and the seventh note. So if we look at the C major scale and we take out the fourth note in that scale and the seventh, we get left with, right? So it's the first, the second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth. That's basically all you need to memorize. And the trick is to randomly play any note in this scale, either C, D, E, G, or A, all while playing chords. And I'll, I'll show you an example so you can get a better idea. So if we're playing a song, I'm playing random notes on my right hand all while playing chords within the C major scale and, and it seems to fit in even, um, it doesn't matter what what note I press on my right hand it, it seems to work out somehow so that's a trick that you can use let's say if we're improvising or playing while the preacher is speaking or something like that and we're playing chords and we want to add a melody we just play random notes within that pentatonic scale. So either C, D, E, G, or A. This is if we are in C major in this case. So if we're playing. I'm just playing random notes. All right.
right and something that you saw that i did is also include the octave if you want to give more emphasis into that melody you can play both a in that beginning octave and in the upper octave and this is also an easy way to write a melody for a song if you're into that type of stuff right If you get into a higher level you can even start going faster with with this pentatonic scale and improvise even more all right so that's all for today if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe to keep on receiving these new piano tutorial videos i'll try to make one at least either once or twice a week and also leave a like into the video if you liked it that way you help out the channel